Hi, my name is Dr. Cody Powell. I'm going to be doing a series of YouTube videos teaching you how to use physics and computer code to simulate projectile motion. This video is really just an introduction, but this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing eventually some experiments where we're going to launch a projectile using a projectile launcher built with this fancy inclinometer. We're going to collect data and we're going to try and use principles of physics coupled with computer code to figure out how far that projectile is going to launch as a function of the launch angle. This is my son who we, he and I did this as a science fair project a couple of years ago. So uh, that's him with his launcher measuring the angle and then launching and then we were fortunate enough to have snow on that day and so we could pretty easily see where the projectile landed and record the distance. We used a computer coding language called Scratch. It's a project from MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The code looks like this. It's really intuitive, uh, really a great way to get introduced to computer coding, very visual, very easy to use. But really the principles of it are key principles that you'd use in all kinds of computer code. So this is a great way to learn how to code and get introduced to the basic principles. But then some of the concepts we learn are things that you would carry with you uh, throughout your life if computer programming happens to be an important part of your life. So as a result of this code, we were able to change the launch angle and um, launch a projectile. Our computer code would predict how far the ball was going to go. So these are different trajectories. When we're changing the launch angle, we could predict things like the velocity and distance to see how far the ball would go we were able to compare our simulated example, which is represented by this line. Here we're looking at a graph of the launch angle versus the launch distance. So we compared our simulated distance, which is the line, to our experimental distances, which is the distances we recorded when we actually launched the Nerf gun with the little ball. And we got remarkably uh, pretty good results here. So we wanna teach you, or I wanna teach you how to do this, how to write the code, how to set up your experiment, and how to uh, get really cool and fun results like this. I'm going to be giving a series of video lectures, and this is the basic overview. So in video one, we're going to be introducing Newton's laws of motion, just really teaching kind of the underlying physics. What, is the, what do those laws mean? And then um, we're going to start to get into how can we use the, that physics to describe projectile motion. So Newton's laws are can be kind of abstract, but we're gonna try and take those laws and put math behind them so that we can really try and figure out how far something is gonna go or how can you apply some of the physical principles to describe what's happening in real life. In video three, we're gonna talk about uh, the, some of the key variables that we'll use, position, velocity, and acceleration. Video four, I'm gonna do a crash course in how do you do computer coding. It's actually, it's super fun, really intuitive. After watching the video, you should be able to, to replicate what we're doing and see how fun coding could be. Then in videos five and six, we're gonna take those coding skills coupled with Newton's laws of motion that we've learned, and I'm gonna teach you how do you get Newton's laws built into computer code so that you can run these same kind of simulations yourself and use these laws to predict how far that projectile is gonna go. So you can find links to each of those these videos in the description below. Um, and I look forward to interacting with you and teaching you some new fun skills.